Hi, welcome to another tutorial for your challenge, your photo challenge. Um, we're gonna do a challenge mixer today. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do this. Um, first, you need um, two different photographs. Here I have two super cops. One is from Germany and one is from Mexico. The first thing you wanna do is um, choose the one that's gonna be on the background. I suggest you take the smaller one as the background image just because you don't want to um, make this one bigger because if you do a picture bigger it's just going to distort it and it's still going to it's going to look horrible you don't want to do that um okay first of all you drag this image into the smaller one I'm going to click over here just to give it a background so it doesn't annoy us um, okay, first of all, um, we want to duplicate the top layer just in case we do something wrong. And we have a backup. Um, you want to shut this one off by clicking on the eye. Okay, then we're going to change the opacity level to about um, 60% right up here just so we can look um, through it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. The first thing we want to do is make it smaller so the size of the head is about the same size of the one on the background layer. We're going to hit Command T. Then we're going to drag this one a little small um, so it's smaller. Remember to press Shift so the um, proportions stay the same. Okay. We want to get the eyes almost at the same level. Okay. Okay, I think this one works. And then you have to click back here again and you just click on apply. We go back a little bit. And we change the opacity back to 100. Okay, you can see it's almost the same height. Doesn't really matter if it's not the same height. Okay, we want to duplicate this layer just because I'm going to show you um, another way to do it afterwards. Okay, the first way is to select the pen tool. And you just have to click on the image. Oh, sorry. You have to remember, you have to cover one side of the top photograph. I think this one works pretty good okay then you go to paths right click make selection and you set this up to zero and okay then go back to layer you shut this one off and then click on this layer then you have to click on delete and you see just you just cut the image okay and you go back to this tool then you have to click select deselect or command D now you can see we have a pretty interesting result now we want to make this look a lot better more interesting so one way to do this is to go here to the um, bo uh, bottom part of the layer box and click on this little F we're going to click and drop shadow. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can see the drop shadow effect. I'm going to shut it down here. Just create creates a shadow under the top layer. So it gives a pretty cool effect just like you put this image right on top of it. You can control the, the angle of the light. You should always put it um, on the other side of your image so you can see the shadow um, but you can work with the distance I wouldn't change it I think 7 is alright spread it 5 size I mean you can play around with this one I think that looks pretty good now we're gonna click on stroke and it's gonna turn out probably red you want to change the color to white and put it down to 1 and this 
makes it look like it's cut from maybe a magazine or just an original photograph. Just a better effect, I think. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Uh, you see, it looks pretty interesting. I should have cut it through the nose so you can see the health of the image. But okay, anyways. Okay, this is our first photo challenge effect. It looks actually pretty interesting. Then shut off this layer, and we're gonna do the second part. So you bring up the one you had as a backup and you click on it, you have to remember it's uh, selected then you're gonna go here into the add layer mask and you're gonna click alt or option and then click it and you see it's gonna be black on here then you have to select the brush over here and just make sure the diameter uh, like it depends on how big your image is but you can just make it bigger your the brush size um, I will leave it about 35 that's fine and the hardness should be below 20 okay okay um, I'm gonna zoom in now what we can do this is pretty interesting actually we're gonna paint you have to make sure your brush is white and we're gonna paint over this image and the layer we had from the Mexican cup is going to show up. So see, we have the Mexican eye right here. And you can play around with this one just to create a totally new officer super cop. Now you can just play around with this one, and you see you get two different options. Um, okay, this looks pretty interesting okay if you don't like what for example I didn't like what I did over here you're gonna bring up this little history thing and you can go back as many brushes as you like just over here so you see it's disappearing it's just basically a history of you what you've been doing so if you had a mistake you can just go back pretty much fix it oh sorry yeah, I think that's okay so here we have two different ways of creating the challenge mixer okay this is pretty interesting and here you have the other one now if if you don't like the size of the image what you can always do is go here and to the crop tool just select the part of the image you want to stay with okay, this might work and then just click on crop and here you have your new challenge mixer so start upload uploading your challenge mixers and have fun playing around with the group photos thanks a lot